Welcome back to week three of our six week today Tona workout series. Here's our head strength coach, Adam Mosier, who's been leading us through every workout. What do you have for us today, Mo? All right, so in honor of the halfway to Daytona, we're gonna do a quick circuit, 250 reps, which is halfway to the Daytona 500. We're gonna start with half and half push-ups. Start at the top of a push-up, go halfway down, and all the way back up. You got 25 of those. What we're looking for in a push-up is keeping your elbows in and your hands under your shoulders. Sometimes people get their hands out too far in front of their body and it makes it tough on them. So remember that pointer to keep strong. Now that you've knocked out those 25, now start from the bottom of your push-up. So all the way down, nose touching the ground, and go halfway up. So same as before, your hands want to stay under your shoulders, keeping your elbows tucked into your ribs as tight as you can. All right, now that you've knocked those out, find a good resting position. Shake out your arms and shoulders. Triceps should be good and warmed up now. So now we're gonna put our hands flat on the ground under our shoulders again. Waist up as high as you can. We're gonna do mountain climbers, driving your knee to your chest and alternating legs. We're gonna do 100 total, 50 on each leg. So you can either kick your knee out to the outside of your elbows or keep your knee in inside of your elbows, whichever is more comfortable for you. All right, now that you're working on the end of those mountain climbers, go ahead and lay flat on your stomach, arms straight out over your head. So from here, we're gonna do Superman hold. So we're gonna bring everything up, arms and legs together, reach as high as you can. Hold it for a five count. Thousand three, four, five, relax. Two seconds, back up. Good, repeat that for 25. So your point is here to try to get everything off the ground except your belt buckle. You want your knees and feet as high off the ground as you can and shoulders to be up as high as you can with your hands. Notice how his knees are as off the ground as high as he can. When you come to the front, keep your hands parallel with your shoulders at the top and hold. All right, when you're done with your last Superman, you're gonna roll over, lay it flat on your back, knees bent, feet crossed, knees bent, feet crossed at your ankles. You're gonna do a full sit-up. At the top of your sit-up, you're gonna drive your feet into the ground and stand up all the way to the top of your feet. Good, cross your ankles, sit back down. 25 sit-up stand-ups. <laughs> so after you find yourself on your feet, after your last sit up to stand up, go ahead and find a seat, feet flat, knees bent. You're gonna start doing a normal sit up. You're gonna go halfway up and then back down to where you started. So from here, go halfway up and down. Halfway up and down. Good, at the top of that half sit up, you really wanna contract your abs. Find a quick, short pause, back to the bottom. After you find yourself at the 25th sit up from the starting position to halfway up, sit all the way up and finish the sit up by going halfway down to back up, halfway down to back up. Again, when you get back to that halfway point, contract your abs, contract your low back, keep everything really tight. That concludes our halfway workout. Good job, Wes. See you guys on the second half. There you have it, three weeks down and three weeks to go in the Own the Life You Want, the new and improved you workout series. With 24 days left until the Daytona 500, we're gonna kick these workouts up after this. So take your time, rest when needed to get through this one and complete it at least three times before we'll see you again next week.